Alright guys, another little tech talk video, because uh, I did other PC videos where I was rearranging the inside of my PC and stuff. And uh, then I got a Blu-ray and I was going to pop it into my computer and I was like, oh wait, I took out my Blu-ray drive, so I can't really use it in my computer. Because there are some things you might want to use for your computer, because I do have a ton of other Blu-ray players. I have the Xbox One, the PS3, the PS4. But also when it comes to computers, you might have certain software that you need a disc for, although you can usually get digital versions. But an awesome feature that I found is with VLC Media Player, you can play any DVD from any region and it's automatically region unlocked because that's just how they roll. <laughs> Hopefully they're going to be doing that with Blu-rays in the future. At this time, Blu-rays are still region locked on computers. And then if you get actual DVD players and Blu-ray players, those are pretty much always re region locked. If you want to get a region unlocked DVD player, it is incredibly expensive compared to normal DVD players. So what the heck am I going to do with this and my computer? I could just put it right back in, but it was a little cramped because mine's just a mid tower case, not a full tower case. And it was, I just couldn't get it all to fit in there. So that's why I took it out and I added another fan, wanted more airflow. So instead, I bought the Nexstar DX USB 3.0 external enclosure for SATA Blu-ray CD DVD drive. As the box says. <laughs> so basically, because I was looking around and I was like, well, maybe I should just get an external DVD player and then just use USB. And then I was like, but I still have this Blu-ray player. I've seen some external DVD players for like $40. I paid $20 for this internal Blu-ray player, not a DVD player, a Blu-ray player. And I'm like, I can't just let this go to waste. So I found this dock, which supposedly you can just slide this right in and then just plug it in USB and it should work just fine. I haven't tested it, haven't put it all together. So we're gonna find out how well this really works. <laughs> what? Is it not screwed in? Oh no. What the f I hear things sliding. Well, this is the part that you can next. Okay. The oh, the screws are right there. Okay. okay, good. I thought it was... Cute panel. Yeah, no. I thought it just came unscrewed the back. But apparently it comes with the screws. So there's just a little power button on off then there's the power cable what is this input 100 to 240 volts 50 to 60 hertz 0.5 amps output 12 volts 2 amps all right so it has super easy instructions super easy to follow instructions Just slide your drive in there connect it screw it together and then use the usb b to usb a and I think you need USB 3.0 to actually power it. Again, it's designed for 5.25 inch Blu-ray, CD, and DVD drives. Optical drives, internal ones, you will need to supply your own. It does not come with one. And then it says standard SATA, super speed, USB 3.0, aluminum to reduce noise, supposedly. Um, hot swappable for system equipped with USB port plug and play at optical drive to the case no drivers needed yeah so you remove the back panel so step one step two slide out the tray how to slide out oh, there it goes and look at that that little PCB or whatevs and then with the SATA SATA connector or whatever for power and data transfer that's what you connect your little blu-ray CD, DVD, whatever drive to just slide it in. Which way? Does it matter? Yeah, it's probably better that way for the connector. <laughs> Alright, insert the 5.2 device, 5.25 inch device, connect the SATA connector, align the device to the front edge, screw the drive firmly 
align the notches. It's very finicky. Mm. And it just clicks on? Sorta. Of. And then oh. you put this on and then screw this on. Alright, so it says plug and play. Plugged in the power. Gonna plug in the USB now. It's not a very long cable. Like three feet maybe? If I can find a port. For the moment of truth, I guess. Power on. Yay! It lights up. And I hear it spinning, and it said the computer recognized a device, I believe. That works. Uh, I don't know, let's try some Rick and Morty or something. Watch it on anybody? Moment of truth. Got this and this, both of them are connected to my computer. It said no drivers needed. It's auto playing. Rick and Morty season two. Nice. I hear it going. Yeah, so you know, there's a tiny bit of noise. But it's not even louder than my PC fans. I mean listen, take a listen. See and now my fans ramped up, so the fans are definitely louder than that. But everything seems to be working just fine. 40 bucks, I don't know, you, you guys be the decision makers if you want to buy it, if you think it's a good product. Well, I think it's a good product in terms of how it works. Probably should shut that off for copyright reasons. Um, so I would recommend it if you have an optical drive, you decided to take it out, out of your chassis right here and add a three fans instead of two fans or whatever. This is a, another option. And it's better than just external DVD drives, because like I said, this is a Blu-ray drive. But you have to supply your own Blu-ray optical drive. If you have a DVD player, you can also use that. So again, I will leave an Amazon listing in the description. Use my link, please, if you want to buy it. And uh, if you like this video or just appreciate me doing it, you can give it a thumbs up. And subscribe to my channel for more either uh, gaming-related stuff, PC-related stuff. Sometimes I just play games, sometimes. I've been trying to do more tech, PC talk, vlogs, videos and stuff. And I actually had this cable. I don't even know what I did with it. Uh, yeah, this was a SATA. This was one of the SATA drives that is just like in here, but it has USB type C connector on it. Cause I was thinking maybe I can use the Blu-ray drive just with a cable or to a external hard drive an internal hard drive and make it into an external hard drive. Well, you can't really do that with, uh, I think it was three and a half inch drives and stuff. You can't do it with optical drives because there's not enough power with just this and USB-C drive apparently. You need this other adapter with extra power to do optical drives and bigger hard drives. Apparently this is just for like two and a half inch drives, hard drives. So like the little portable thin ones and maybe SSDs. But I don't have a SSD that I, I don't want to take it out of my computer and then plug it into my computer. That, that, won't, that wouldn't make any sense. So yeah, this is a better option than just a cable because you need that extra power. Plus it's secure, it's secure. you don't have to worry about static, all that. I recommend it. That's pretty much all I gotta say. See you guys later.